What's happening guys? Spio here with the voice of reason and today we're gonna take a look at a Cohen soundish kind of notch glitch hop bass and let's just go right ahead and take a listen to that. Okay, basically what this bass is all about is noise running into a notch filter and we can either achieve this um, using like a big Reese bass like in this Thor which is just two multi oscillators heavily detuned against each other with a um, pulse wave slapped under them. But um, for now or for today we will be looking at a subtractor patch which just uses a single wave and a noise oscillator running into a notch filter. The procedures for both are kind of the same. On the Thor you just use the onboard notch filter in the state variable filter here um, and just a basic low pass ladder or uh, an edge red if you're all fancy. Anyway, um, let's get to recreating the subtractor patch. Create and subtractor and just do the basic steps. Turn down the polyphony to one, turn up the portrament to about 22-ish and bring up the sustain on the amp envelope all the way. And while we're at it, add a little bit of attack at about 24. Now for the first oscillator, um, we'll just bring the octave down to 2 and set the wave to 5. Now I think Subtractor is a great device because it has all these hidden kind of waves up there above the normal ones. If we just take a quick listen. And there are some really great ones there, like 5 for example, the fifth wave, which goes really nicely with this kind of basses. So we'll just use that one and turn on the noise oscillator. Um, bring down the level to about 80 and the color to about 100. So we haven't got like completely white noise, which just would be hissing away and like, yeah, wouldn't be very pleasant. Now just to spice things up a bit, we'll turn the LFO2 to oscillator 1-2 mode, bring up the rate to about 78 and bring up the amount to about 20. Now we've got uh, some nice um, kind of pitch modulation going. Yeah, just, yeah, nice. Um, now for the filter, we'll just switch it to notch mode, the first filter, and just alt click the frequency. Oops, sorry. Um, to create the automation line. Make sure the frequency is all the way up before you alt click so the automation line has a standard of uh, 127. Bring up the resonance to a bit, just to about like 42 and turn on the second filter, bring up the frequency all the way and alt click that one too to create the automation line at 127. And bring up the resonance a bit too on that one. Just with, it, with the same value, about 42. Okay, um, that's it for the subtractor. Now we'll just run the whole charade into an equalizer, boosting some lows, but at the same time taking out some with uh, the parameter one, just turn it down all the way to 39.1 Hertz and put the gain down all the way. That just um, gets rid of some of the rel really low mud and um, makes some room for, this, uh, for the sub. Just put the cue uh, like uh, halfway and just give it a little bit more. Sweet. And now to get uh, rid of some more hissing, we'll just use the second parameter at uh, 20 kilohertz and bring down the gain all the way. So we get rid of some of the really annoying hissing that's up there. Just adjust the Q so we still get some highs. Yeah, that's sweet. At 13.7. Okay, um, now we'll run it into a compressor. Just basic compressor settings. Bring up the ratio to about 11.8 uh, to 1 and the threshold down to about minus 23 dB. Give it some input gain and then just uh, adjust the output gain. So, yeah, that's nice. And now we'll just run it uh, into an RV700 to give it some room. Switch it, the algorithm to room, bring down the decay to about 23-ish and the dry wet to, to about 23 or 22. And then bring up the damp to about 66. Just makes it a bit bigger. Okay, there you go for the rack. Now we'll just have a look at the sequencer and what we can do there. Um, let me just solo the track and draw in a little note. And I'll just draw in a note at A2. I do a lot of tracks in A, so in A minor. Anyway, um, now for the, the filter frequency here is the notch bass automation, uh, the notch uh, filter automation. The filter 2 frequency is the low pass filter automation. 
for the filter frequency automation, we'll just either want a slope going up or down, and we want um, we want to avoid going all from all the way up to all the way down, because that will create a kind of well. Just listen for yourself. You get like a double trigger kind of effect. So I like to keep it uh, keep it in the middle, just from about 105 to about 30 or 25 ish. which just creates this nice, um, well, noise kind of resonance effect. And like I said, either up or down. So let's just listen to it with. Yeah. So that's the denoise effect. And what we can do now is just create a basic like uh, wobble kind of automation, just um, draw in a, a triangle kind of shape on the filter two frequency and sorry, time stretch it, so we get a nice kind of wobble going. Okay, now to make the whole thing complete, we'll add pitch bend automation. Just bring up the range to about, uh, well, to 12, to exactly 12, so we get a nice uh, octave of, well, pitch bend. And then just hit all click and draw in your lane and just bring it from all the way up to zero. And now we got this nice downward kind of, um, well, bass sound, which you hear a lot in like Lich Hop Productions. Well, yeah. Yeah. So um, what I just did up here with the MIDI data, I just had a little melody going, nothing fancy, and then just, you know, created a basic kind of automation line just up and down and so on and with some basic wobbles going on and some pitch bend automation and the whole thing sounds like this. Yeah, so that's really everything there is to this space. Like I said, with the respace up here, I did, um, prac um, I did just exactly the same thing but with uh, like a different oscillator settings no noise oscillator but a lot of like multi oscillators heavily detuned and we get this sound for that one yeah which is a nice sound too let's just listen to the whole thing once again There you go. <clears throat> and that's it basically, the, um, there you have it. There you have your Cohen soundish kind of synth using the Substractor synthesizer, which I think is great and should be used more often in productions because, well, stuff can, can get kind of um, boring if you just use Thor all the time. So I had a go at Maelstrom too and probably there will be a tutorial up sometimes on Maelstrom on a Maelstrom based patch. Anyway, um, I hope you liked this tutorial and it was useful. If it was, drop a like, that would be much appreciated. My name's been Spio. Don't forget to download this patch and all the others I've made in tutorials with um, the, the Voice of Reason refill in the description below. My name's been Spio. Once again, this was the Voice of Reason, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one of whatever you're doing. Shut up.